so yeah so back at it all right so when you got into fashion and you got very serious what were like your expectations when you entered the fashion the business of fashion I really didn't have any expectations being a self-taught designer you're kind of like okay listen this is your goal my goal is to not fail my goal is to be able to make the design world work for me whether it's being able to learn how to do scaling or tech packs or you know just creating a collection overall it was like hey it's not going to be all rainbows and sunshine and you know just right. happy smiley faces it's going to be some nights where it's two o'clock in the morning and you're stressed out and you're crying um, so for me, I didn't want to set expectations on myself because it was just me doing it. So it was like, listen, Tyson, when you got to work and, you, you know, it's it's not going to be easy. So I don't think I necessarily had expectations. I think it was it's all been, and even to this day, it's been a learning process and, you know, building relationships along the way and being able to take those relationships and making those, um, you know, work for the business. Right. Did you, you had like the same feeling as well when you were like making your, your garments? Because I know some designers have so much emotions that they put into it they're like very sensitive about their 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 baby <laughs> it is our baby it's like we made this from nothing from right. fabric um <laughs> i um no i'm not that kind of designer for me i think okay. it's more uh, i enjoy the creative process like i don't like to sketch out designs prior to making them so that's why it's been so hard to create like content leading up to this new collection mm -hmm. because it's like you really don't know what it's going to look like until you start to work and fill with fill the fabric and feel you know the various right. movement pieces that you want to create and so for me um i think that i'm not sensitive about it but like once it's done i'm like okay if you like it you like it if you don't you don't like it's all good you know like this is my baby um so I, I think that for me i just really enjoy the creative process and i think at the end of the day it's really about being able to put that product out there and have those that actually like fill you and you know right. are um just all about what you're trying to put out there to be able to bring them part of your community. Like that's like the number one thing. <laughs> it's always interesting working with like designers because each of you guys have your own system. Like everyone does not start like the same way. Some people sketch, some people yeah. just, I need to go to a fabric store or I need to go look at some buildings, some architecture, or I need to like paint something. Like it's just different background. It's just very fascinating. And I'm just like, we need to put this in like a campaign. Like when it's like done to go into like the marketing and you need to pitch it out to people. It's just fascinating how like some designers just go about certain things. Yeah. I like, I, I am very inspired by those designers who are like, oh i can go and look at buildings or go to a museum and mm -hmm. find like all this inspo for me it's like well what do i want to wear like how do i want right <laughs> or, like how do i want to feel like okay i have these events coming up and this is kind of the vibe that i want to command in the room for me it's really about that self piece to be able to say okay i want to be able to wear my stuff number one i want to be able to look good and feel good and then be able to put it out there and whoever you know supports it supports it and whoever doesn't doesn't like mm -hmm. i am very much like let's create this let's like okay i want a bad suit i don't have one i want it in white okay great now i'm going okay so i have this white i now want to create a white gown and i know i want volume you know like right. it's just kind of it's really about how i'm feeling in the moment but then it's also about like my life experiences like recently i've had the opportunity um to be able to work with various individuals in the in the dmv whether it be like local artists mm -hmm. or um, other creatives and then i've been just i've had the ability to be immersed in uh just diversity in the space of um, like the LGBT community and kind of doing outreach right. in that space and um, support in that space. And so just meeting individuals, I think has also inspired me and just seeing what they're into and you know, what their needs are. Um, so for me, I think that's my creative process, but I'm so inspired by those who are like, I see this building and it has 19 windows. Now I want to create a dress that has 19 openings with, you know, a split back and, you know, measures 19 feet. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is great. <laughs> you're like, wear it? like, you know, like, you? can I wear it? <laughs> right. You're like, how did you yeah. find inspiration for that? But yeah, it's just very fascinating. Just like, just being around you guys, just let you guys work. And I'm just like, oh, okay, this, this is how they get motivated. Okay, this is interesting.